What's up, Sooner Nation? Welcome back to the Sooner Surge. Thanks to everyone who has been subscribing and liking our videos and commenting in the chat. We appreciate it very much. Uh, also, check out the Fan Stop at thefanstop.com for all your Sooner apparel needs. Fall Battle Series is tomorrow as the Sooners begin their quest for a 5 P It starts tomorrow at Love's Field. Uh, you can catch that Fall Battle Series on SEC Network+. Plus. Uh, last year, going into the Fall Battle Series, guys, we all talked about how, how highly anticipated it was because there is the question mark of who is going to play shortstop and replace Grace Lyons. This year, there's a whole lot of question marks and a whole lot of anticipation going into this season because there are so many position groups that, that are up for grabs as far as who's going to be the one there, who's going to be the backup, are they going to slide some others around? What will this pitching staff look like? Lots and lots of new faces, lots and lots of new positions up for grabs. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited uh, to see what this team looks like as they move into the SEC. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm excited too, probably more than last year. Probably the most excited I've been for a battle series because of just what you said. There's so much up for grabs. Uh, I feel like this coaching staff is going to have to do one of their best coaching jobs over the last four years to get this team if they're wanting to win another natty uh, because they got so many youngsters. They got a lot of new position groups, but they got talent all over that field. That's the one thing they do have. They got a lot of talent. And I think I'm most forward looking to seeing a few things. I I, I want to see Hannah Core to see if she can uh, maybe have a good year. You know, the injuries have killed her and it's just like, Maybe this is a year she can have a great year. We'll see. Uh, the other one is this. Who's going to be the, the freshman standout? Because there will be one. Guys, it's it's going to happen. There's going to be a freshman or two that you just, after maybe 10 or 20 games, you're like, wow, this person is lightning on fire this year. Just like Ella Parker and Cassidy Pickering did last year. It's going to happen. Who's it going to be, though? That, that's the question. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm super excited to see Tia Malloy. Uh, really excited to see her play, along with a lot of other players, guys. Yeah, guys, I'm super excited to see what the emergence of Kirsten Deal is going to look like. Last year, I think we all thought that Kirsten Deal was going to have a larger role than what she ended up uh, really having throughout the year. And, I, you know, I think that had to do, too, with the emergence of Kelly Maxwell, just how dominant she was throughout the whole entire year. But I really look for Kirsten Deal maybe to take on that quote-unquote A status on this staff. Now, I'm not even sure if there's going to be an ace this year, if it's going to be like last year where it's more like committee early in the year than once you get later into the year someone starts to emerge. So that'll be something I'm watching. And also, Jay, you said it. Which freshman is going to is really going to be able to make that impact and really truly emerge himself as a starter and make – a ton of plays and that and we're all going to be like okay this is a freshman Oklahoma is going to need during the season to make some huge plays like Ella Parker with just how good she was last year throughout the whole entire world series she was maybe the best offensive player that Oklahoma had so I you know I just really look for the freshman and also who's going to emerge on the pitching staff you one thing we can kind of I, I think take from the fall battle series guys going to look at past ones Cassidy Pickering last year uh, kind of uh, made her, I guess you could say, entrance in the fall battle series, and she never relinquished the opportunity. I mean, it's very clear that Patty Gasso is going to look what happens here, and you can solidify yourself in this lineup by playing well in the fall battle series. This isn't some just preseason scrimmage for fun event. They take this very seriously in Norman, Oklahoma. Uh, last year, two specific freshmen, you had Cassidy Pickering and Ella Parker that emerged as that freshman class. The other two, Maya Bland, used sparingly in pinch running roles. And then Nellie Mack with the red shirt. Those are two others uh, that have been around this team uh, that may be looking, I'm sure, to make an impact this year very quickly. Talking about Patty Gasso, though, uh, she's got a little different uh, job ahead of her this year, guys. Uh, I think she's going to have to take more of a role and not, not to say that she hasn't because she's always been in, in the role as the head coach, but she had so many elite leaders the last three or four years. I think she probably thought she could take a step back a little. I'm not saying that that's what she did because I don't think that's what she did, but you guys know what I'm saying this year. 
Those leaders have to be developed. They've got to step up. We don't know who those are, leaders are yet. Uh, I think we'll see some come out of this fall battle series, but I think Patty Gasso is probably uh, refreshed a little bit because now it's almost like she's going to go back to maybe some old ways of, of coaching. And again, I don't want to say that's what she's doing, guys, but uh, she was able to rely so heavily on, on some of the elite leaders that she was able to develop, and they they were elite. And Kenzie Hansen, Tiara Jennings still there on staff. I think that helps. But who's going to be the leaders this year? That's something to also keep an eye on. Yeah, and, and you know, you mentioned last year and how important it was in the battle series, Cassidy Pickering. Another player who had an amazing battle series was actually Hannah Core, if you remember right. She she had an outstanding battle series, and then the injury bug again. So we'll see what there, there's a the, one of the position groups that I'm really excited to watch and see who emerges is catcher. I think you know Hanson's gone. You have uh, uh, Riley Zakay. And then you have the the transfer out of North Carolina, uh, Emerling, I believe. Uh, so so who's going to emerge there? You also have Corey Hicks that's played some catcher. I think she'll also plays other positions. But that 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 catcher role, I'm looking at to see who's going to who's going to take over that role. And then this player specifically, I would love to see this player take a massive leap, and I think she needs to. And it's Sydney Sanders. I think Sydney Sanders at first base, we all know she's a great defender, but the, the bat has been kind of hit or miss. It's been streaky. Uh, I think it's time for her, and maybe she's that leader you mentioned, Jerm. Maybe she takes on the leadership role. Being She's been there one of the longest of anybody on that team. So uh, maybe she takes that role, and she has an amazing year. I'm looking for her to have a huge improvement, I think. Yeah. Something else I'm going to watch is, I'm not sure really how much we'll be able to tell this during the series, but I really want to see who's going to emerge and make those plays when it's needed most. Jason, you brought up Sydney Sanders. There was times last year where she was struggling and she was able to get timely hits for Oklahoma when it was needed. And then is it going to be a player, maybe like a true freshman, like a team Malloy? Is it going to be maybe a Hannah core? If she can stay healthy, can finally have her chance to emerge and immerse herself as a starter and make plays when it's needed most for Oklahoma. So really, who's going to step up and make those plays when it's needed most? Because Oklahoma last year arguably had the most clutch player of all time in softball and Jada Coleman starting this in the field. She was that good in the clutch. And then Tiara Jennings and Kenzie Hansen and Alyssa Brito, the list goes on and on about just the big-time players that made the big-time plays. Hey, real, real quick, but last thing I'll say, Jaron, we haven't really talked about the pitching in general and the pitching staff, but – you know, last year, even though Maxwell transferred over, a lot of people knew Maxwell. They knew her stuff. You're going to see a whole lot of pitchers that you don't know a whole lot about right now. You know, Peyton Monticelli and you know Kirsten Deal. Um, the rest, I mean, I, I'll just say, I mean, I watch softball, but I haven't seen a lot of these players pitch. So uh, excited to see some of these transfers. Also excited to see Audrey Lowry, uh, see what they got with their arms this year. Uh, super excited for Audrey Lowry. Uh, dominant pitcher everywhere she's been. Can she continue that? at this level early in her career, something to keep an eye on. Peyton Monticelli, guys, I think vocal leadership is going to be a strong point for Peyton Monticelli. I mean, she is fiery. She's passionate. Does she take that role? And, guys, go look at last year's team. We know they had timely hitters. I mean, they, they were the best. But let's not underestimate how phenomenal those, those players were on the defensive side of the ball. They've got to replace a lot on the defensive side. Uh, to be able to mesh and support the pitching staff. And that's something else to keep your eye on. It starts tomorrow night, Fall Battle Series, Loves Field, SEC Network Plus. We'll make sure we're on afterwards to cover it. Uh, so you don't need to look any, anywhere else. Sooner Surge is your place for Sooner Softball uh, info. So make sure you subscribe and we'll catch you next time.